All right, package came in the mail. Um, a week or two ago, we unboxed um, a few Yakutian hummus um, that were more budget friendly, a little bit on the lower end of the price scale. Now we have in here some of the less budget friendly, some of the higher end Yakutian hummus. Now keep in mind, I will mispronounce the names of these. I apologize, I'm from Kansas, I can't pronounce. But let's just delve right into it. Let's see what we got here. And we'll just continue falling as does the camera. Put our mic here. I got rags, I got coconut oil. Got this, we got scissors. Let's get this cut open. Let's see what happens here. Exciting, I'm gonna be keeping one of these hummus for myself. Now off the top of my head, I'm not going to remember whose was whose, other than there's a Chomchoyev or Chemchoyev in here. It has a mammoth or a mastodon on the front of it. I believe it's a mammoth. Well, they look like we're packaged decently. Hopefully so. Uh, these are these are not the budget-friendly homeless like we got last time. And I keep in mind that anything that I get that's Yakutian, I'm going to pay more just because of the geography. Yakutian or Yakutian homeless are very, very expensive for the most part from what I've seen. Even the more budget-friendly ones, the Mandarov and the Gotsoyev, were not the most affordable harps. But you don't buy a Yakutian harp because you want to save money. That's just what I'm experiencing there are some really, really good ones out there. And these are all ones from makers that I've never sampled before. So I'm excited to give these a try. Let's try not to cut anything of value in here. So from the last unboxing, the Mandrov were decent. They play pretty unsaturated. Uh, much like the Morchang I'm used to, the Gatsoyev were extremely loud. Just get these laid out. Oh, I don't know which makers are which. I think there was a Shepelev, uh, Maltsev, a few others. I don't know who's who. I should have did my research. I believe this might be a Maltsev, but I'm not sure. We're going to save the Chumchoyev, or Chumchoyev, however you say it, I don't know, for last. We're going to come back up here. There we are. Get this, make sure our mic's in a good location here. Let's see here. Some of these might be necklaces. I notice a lot of the Yakutian makers, when they make a case, they have the harp facing up. Now, I will have to look this up. See who this is. I don't remember the maker. I don't remember who all I ordered. Let's see what happens here. We have it's on a wood block. It's a simple, a simpler necklace case. What I'm most concerned about is is the harp good. It's very very light feeling, lighter than a lot of the harps I've handled. And oiled well. I request that they be oiled because here in Kansas, right now, it's kind of a wet time of year. There's rain. There's lots of snow. I see very tight gaps. Spiraled trigger. We have a, a brass bridge up here. Long sustain. Long, long sustain. Pretty saturated. Responds well to about everything I'm throwing at it. We're going to keep it moving. I don't know if that's malt sev or who that was. I wanted to sample a whole bunch of different makers, so this is a sample. I mean, we'll make sure to oil these. I don't know if any of them are in stainless steel or not. I will have to do my research. We'll put this back. The case looks very, looks to be very easy to use. 
This next one here. It looks like a lot of these may have necklace cases, which I like. I like to wear harps. I wear my Burt Sev uh, a lot when I go out just because it's such a, a functional piece of jewelry. It's, it, it's a beautiful harp, but it also is um, very well playing. Very light wood they use here. I like that. It'll be a light necklace. Similar case design to the Mandarov. We have this maker's mark right here. I don't know what it is. I wish I had done my research. It ended up showing up today. I was working on my website. Fits very, very tightly in here. I wonder if this case has swelled a little bit. I wouldn't worry about that falling out. I see medium tightness of the gaps. So it's a little bit heavier of a frame here. I think that one has a draw start. Yes, a draw starting variety. A little bit dirtier of a tone. Fit and finish on it is good. Oil that one back up. Trying to keep these unboxings as short as possible. It used to be I'd run 34 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes on an unboxing. We're going to try to keep this to under 15. If we can do that, we'll be very happy. I do keep in mind when I'm buying an instrument from Yakutia, it is really high priced. This might be Kristofferov. I don't know. How do I untie this? There we go. Very, very light cases, very light woods they're using. Has a marking on the back of it, P.E. Sharp. Let's see here. Oh, I see that kind of locks itself together. Very, very light cases. The other one was difficult to get out of the case. Let's see if this one, let's say you wouldn't have to worry about that. Ooh, that's a very, very light instrument. You wouldn't have to worry about that falling out if you was hiking. I've hiked, I've actually hiked with my Burt so which is a, which is a daring thing to do as expensive as it is. I've seen tight gaps. Uh, all these harps, the gaps have been consistent. Very, very light framed. Kind of a little bit of a hillbilly squelch gone. Keep this moving. We got three left. I'm excited to try the Chomchoyev as well. Um, the Chomchoyev, I believe he won a lot, a lot of awards for years. And somebody had told me that he's one of the older, more experienced makers out that way. So I'm excited to try that. I have to look up and just see who all who all makes these instruments. I don't remember what I ordered. I've ordered in the past couple months. I've ordered so many harps. Um, this new venture of trying some new Yakutian harps um, is a new thing. I have also got another Burt Sev coming for my private collection. Should be arriving in the next week or two. Here we have it has an M on it. Two M's. Very very light wood again. We'll see if I can untie this. Uh, I wonder what type of string this is. Yeah, very, very light wood. Cool wood grain on the back of there. 
Now, if the string isn't kept tight, it looks like it'll fall out of there. So we'll see what we got here. Give it a wipe. Um, these are oiled very well. Decently tight, consistent gaps. A loop trigger. Very light feeling. That's probably have the best bell ring of, out of all of them I sampled out of this one yet. Oh, I like that. I like you. I'm going to have to... It has two M's on it. What maker was that? I like this one. Oh, yeah. Now the bell, the bell is getting a little bit cleaner now. Yeah, that's a good harp. Now that's a harp you can fast. I'll put this one away. I'm excited that one was good. <laughs> okay. Where are we at? What are we doing? I've got to make sure to oil these very well. I don't remember if they're in stainless or steel. I don't remember. Put you back in your box. I am studying these boxes. I've got to come up with a different design for my necklace cases that I make for my harps. And I'm liking the way the Yakutians do necklaces. Let's see if I can... This little one here, the small one, has the same emblem we've seen on the other one. Looks almost like a SR. I don't, I don't know what that is. Very, very light wood. like are all these i think all these have been necklace cases and the tip points toward the sky i believe someone had told me that's the akutian way they believe that the tip of the harp is supposed to point up so i don't think we'll see any necklace cases um, that they don't yeah it's fairly heavy for such a short harp Nice tight gaps, a loop trigger. Yep, that's good. Like the ringing of a church bell. I'm not going to play that one anymore. That's going to go to a very happy home. That, I like that. I'm going to play that other one with that same maker's mark. Maybe, maybe I'm in too much of a hurry. Maybe I'm overlooking a lot of the aspects of the harps. Um, the only one I really didn't much care for was the draw start, but I really... I really don't, in general, gravitate toward draw starts much because there's just a loss of clarity when you have a draw start on an instrument. Let's try that that same one, um, the bigger version, because that little version is fire. Let's see this bigger version. The bigger version has the draw. The draw kind of goes away. Yeah, not as clean. I could probably take the draw start off that um, on that mandraw that I kept for myself out of the last shipment that had the draw 
I went ahead and took it out of the shop, removed the draw out of it, and then somebody got a hold of me. I was going to keep it for my own personal play, and the tone actually cleaned up really, really nicely on it. And then somebody got a hold of me, they wanted it, so I went ahead and I'm like, well, it's from my personal collection, but you can you can have it. Um, took the draw, reinstated the draw because they were looking for a Yakuti and Harp with a draw. So that is something people seek out. Oh, that but that little one. No draw like that. Okay, this is the Chemchoyev or Chomchoyev. It's probably the one, not, no necklace case, it's just a pocket case. That same face front up with this device. I see this a lot in, in this shipment. We have one and I've seen lots of pictures. Um, he is supposed to be one of the older, more experienced makers. Has won lots and lots of awards for his instruments. Yes, the harp is, is fairly light. Let's get this wiped off. Let's get a, get a look on this. I like that the front of it has that mastodon on the front of there. And I believe mastodons, um, they're they're finding them every once in a while in Siberia as the, as the ice thaws. I see tight gaps. All these have had consistent gaps. These are some of the tighters. Um, I notice at the tips of it, the gap is a little bit less tight. Um, sometimes makers do that because the most amount of side deflection occurs here. So I'm guessing... This harp will play loud and it'll also play stable. But that's just my guess. Let's get a feel on it. This is the one I was excited for. like that um it plays very very easily the bell ring i really do like that but i I don't know. I might keep that little one, the little one with the necklace case. I don't know. Let's go side by side here. We're at seven. Oh, I said I'd be done in 16 minutes or less. Let's get a, one more look at this little one. Oh, I think I like this little one better. The little one might go in my collection. I'm just going to have to do some thinking on this. If anybody's interested in any of these, get a hold of me. I'm harpery.com. My email address is bebcorp1, B-E-B-B-C-O-R-P-1 at gmail.com. I want to do some thinking. I do like, I really like the look of the mammoth, but this little one I think has got my heart. It's got like, it's got a good bell ring, but it also has this hillbilly twang on the end of it, kind of similar to the way my Burtsev has. I would say it's a little less loud. Let's compare it to a Burtsev. All these are going to have different attributes, different different goods and different attributes. We're going to look at that. See the Burtsev. <laughs> Burtsev is definitely louder. It's not quite as squelchy. Mm. 
I'd say all these are good, but I think I might have to keep that little one. That little one is just a clean machine. Oh, we're at 20 minutes. I need to wrap this up. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Harpery. Be sure to click the bell icon below so you can receive notifications when we come out with new videos. Be good to each other. Keep your arms clean. Keep them dry. Keep them old. I love y'all. Adios. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>